Uh, Halloween is what we're talking about. If you have ever been to the Toronto Islands, you have likely noticed there's a historic lighthouse there. And while it is a beautiful building, it has a dark past that you probably didn't know about. Candace McCavitt of Heritage Toronto gives us a bit of a tour. The Toronto Islands, a bastion of scenery and sunshine where families come to play. <laughs> it wasn't always that way. Long ago, something dark happened here. A man was murdered. He was the island's first lighthouse keeper. Legend has it, his spirit still haunts the inside. Maybe it's time we freed him. <laughs> this is the Gibraltar Point Lighthouse. It was built in 1808, and the first lightkeeper was a man named J.P. Rattlemuller. During the War of 1812, Rattlemuller's job was to keep friendly vessels safe, but he also had to keep an eye out for enemy ships. So he was here in April of 1813 when the Americans invaded York. He did not make it to the end of the war. It was January 2nd of 1815. It's cold. There's not a lot going on around here. And it is a well-known fact that the lighthouse keeper brews his own beer. And he actually sold his beer to people as a way to make a little extra money in a less than legal way. So two soldiers decided to come and pay him a visit. Radom Mueller was just a very hospitable guy and that he shared his beer with a few soldiers looking for a nice evening. The men were just too drunk and he decided to cut them off. Everybody agrees on what happened next which is that Rattlemuller was murdered. They murdered him in rage. They say that to cover up their crime, these men chopped his body up, and they buried him in a number of different places around the lighthouse, not too far from where we would be standing right now. And it was about two weeks later that the York Gazette printed his obituary. They did not find the body, but they did print that despite the fact that the body was missing, there was overwhelming moral evidence that he had been murdered. It was about two months after that, two soldiers were arrested. They were tried for the murder and they were both acquitted. So it's a murder that's technically never been solved. And with such a violent death and an unsolved murder, it's no wonder that people claim that this lighthouse is still haunted to this day. They talk about seeing lights going on at the top. They talk about seeing bloody spots on the staircases. And they also talk about seeing a shadowy or misty figure walking through the sand. Whether Radden Mueller still haunts the island, I guess we'll never know. Or will we? Okay, that was a bit scary. Thanks again to Candace McCavitt of Heritage Toronto for helping us out with that story. And happy Halloween, Canada.